The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So for problem one on this exam, we need to find how many terms of the series to add together in order to find the sum to the indicated accuracy. So what you need to recognize here is that our accuracy has to be within 0 0.02 and that we have an alternating series. So to find uh, the accuracy of an alternating series, you need to first verify that it converges. So we need to verify that any term b sub n plus 1, remember that for alternating series, b is the part of the the series that does not include the alternating section. So for this case, that would be b sub n is just 1 over n squared. Because the term on top is the part that makes it alternating. So we need to verify two things. That the series is decreasing. Uh, so these parts that are not alternating need to be decreasing from n to n plus 1. And that the limit as n approaches infinity of b sub n is 0. So you can see here, these two things are easily verified with this function. As n increases, the denominator of this fraction is just going to get larger, meaning that any n plus 1 is definitely going to be smaller than the term that just had n. So that's verified. Limit as n goes to infinity, you have a, a higher degree on the denominator. If you think of this as a rational function, its limit is definitely 0. So we can use our alternating series to kind of check uh, what this error is going to be. So when you have uh, a restriction on your error, we need the error to be less than 0 0.02. What you want to do is just write out the first few terms of the series and try to find which term uh, has a value that's less than that. Because then every subsequent term will have a value even less than that and therefore won't contribute. So, this, when you write out the series though, you definitely want to write it in alternating form. So, our first term is going to be 1, minus 1 fourth, plus 1 ninth, on and on. So, this is just an alternating uh, reciprocal squares um, series. So, what we're doing is we're going to keep going until we get a term that's less than 0 0.02. However, it might be useful to rewrite that since what we're writing here are fractions, not decimals. So if our error is less than 0 0.02, what you might want to consider is, okay, what fraction is that? Does that represent? And then we can just look for a fraction that's smaller than that. 0 0.02 is 2 over 100 or 1 over 50. So we're going to keep going until we get a fraction whose absolute value is less than 1 over 50. So minus 1 16th plus 1 25th. So you can see we have 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. Here we have 6 squared. Here we have 7 squared. And finally, once we get to 8, this is now less than that. So you can see the further terms would be alternating, 9 squared, 10 squared, etc. Those are all going to be so much smaller than everything else there, plus they're going to alternate and cancel each, out, cancel each other out even further. So to get within 0 0.02 of our sum, we only need to go to here. Because everything else is going to be less than 0 0.02. So if we just added these terms, we would get within 0 0.02 of the actual sum. So how many do we have? Because the question was just how many terms do you need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you would need 7 terms of this series to get a sum that's within 0 0.02 uh, of the actual sum. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.